kind of dark in the in front of my face. It's not just because I just want for privacy reason. It's just there's no lamp nor source of light in front of me, so I have to do my. So uh, this is the only thing I could do for you guys. But there is light over there, so you guys can at least see me talking, uh, or at least see me um, um, doing some gestures or something. Hello. Anyway, guys, I'm FHRC Brony here, and uh, just want to talk about something uh, about a video that I saw from my dear friend Connor which his YouTube channel is Twilight and Connor MLPEG means the gaming iron yes I know pretty darn long name I don't know why but um, it's his channel name so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna diss it so um I saw that video and uh, he was making this video about his new recruit and further videos talk about this whole cars and God of Speed, Red Fire, yada yada yada. Okay, so I was bursting out laughing once I saw the new the video that he posted just a while ago, and it was a Peugeot, a Peugeot Turbo Rally car. <laughs> Come on, Connor, do you think that you're gonna beat a car like a Ferrari F50 GT, or at least a car that I could at least drive? pretty well I don't think so and here's why I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to diss you or anything like that I'm not trying to pull out any hate towards you which I, I'm not I'm just trying to give you guys try to give you and your little buddies my personal opinions why you guys are not going to be able to beat me most of the time not all the time but most of the time because I know for a fact that you did beat me in some races but that's that still doesn't change the fact that I'm still more superior than you at this moment but can this be improved? Yes. Will you be more superior than me? Um, as time goes by, maybe, but more likely not. But but uh, is there a way that you can at least keep up, keep to my level? Like try to at least stay up with me, with the with the pack, or at least stay up to my level? Absolutely, because I have hope with you, and and I know that you can be a good racer like me. And uh, so I'm going to tell you some of the things that I personally like about the Ferrari F50 GT and why I think this has to be the best handling car in Forza. But this is not just the best handling car. It's the best handling car in the game. But the best handling car in this game is actually a DLC car called the Joss JT1. Um, which I will explain in a explain later but um more likely i won't but i i will i will give you uh, some information with the joss jt1 um and um by the way the joss jt1 it's just a supercar that was never made in production and it was an australian car and it was also just a prototype it was, it was not just like it was not like a full production ready car so um here we go um i'm gonna on my uh, my little research on Wikipedia and some uh, in some websites on regarding regarding the Ferrari F50 GT and their specifications, the performance is has is it's a it's a V12 screaming engine from a Ferrari F50 GT. It is, it is also pretty darn loud, by, by the way. So if you ever heard of Ferrari F50 GT in real life, it's pretty loud. So the, it has 750 brake horsepower at uh, 10,500 RPMs because this thing has a really high RPM range and it has 383 pound-feet of torque at 8,000 RPMs. Power to weight ratio 0. 0. 0.825 uh, horsepower by kilogram and it, has, and it goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. 0 to 100 in 6.7 seconds and uh, a quarter mile 10.2 seconds at 129 miles per hour or 208 kilometers per hour top speed is 235 miles per hour or 378 kilometers which it's kind of a kind of a dumb thing by turn 10 the makers of forza the reason why i call it i say turn 10 has really messed up with the ferrari f50 gt because in real life the ferrari f50 gt shown over here can top out at 235 miles per hour, whereas this one, shown here, can only top out at 197 miles per hour. Why did you do that? I, 
And plus, Forza is like Gran Turismo for the Xbox, and they want to make their cars more realistic. If you guys want your cars to be more realistic, if you want the cars to be more realistic, if, re if you want your game to be realistic, at least do your more research on the car uh, to be to be at least accurate, not uh, not precise. I'm not expecting like an exact exact same thing. I know it's just a video game, but come on, guys, you know better than that. At least put some more horsepower in the Ferrari F50 GT. But this is already Forza Horizon One. They already for they they're not really gonna go back into the old games. They're gonna be focusing on the new one. So. When I get Forza Horizon 3, since the Ferrari F50 GT is now in that game, I hope that it would be improved upon once I get once I get that car in that game, once I get an Xbox One. Um, anyways, in the Ferrari, and by the way, the Ferrari F50 GT has a power to weight ratio of 1.2 kilograms at 200, at 2.65 pounds per horsepower. Eh, kind of like, eh, went there a little bit, but, um... This car is pretty darn light. The Bugatti that you have, Connor, or God of Speed, is way too darn light. If you go to the garage in this game, it would say a very light, streamlined car that is weak on handling will not win races. Winning races calls for a balance of power and handling. Okay, Unless if you're more into drag racing, that you're not going to win races. In a car like a Bugatti EB110 SS with a Veyron swap. Never. Okay? Is it possible? Yes. But is it going to be hard? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. Because the Bugatti EB110 with the Veyron motor is... It has too much horsepower. And it's going to understeer. It's like a front wheel drive car with so much horsepower that it cannot be able to manage to go around tight corners during acceleration because it's understeer it's not going to work whatsoever but you're going to be asking oh how were you able to do that in a bugatti EV? how did you able to beat me in a bugatti veyron ss because i know how to drive it i know how to drive it properly sure yeah i'm going to crash into the into the guardrails i'm going to crash into walls and stuff like that but at least i know how to at least control the car and at least I, I'm not being that much of a tryhard that I'm going like bump into you, which God of Speed will more likely do because I think he's an idiot. Because sure, his team will say, "Oh, it's totally legal. It's fine to bomb other people. Yeah, 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 yeah it's totally fine. You, you can do this." But in reality, if if we were in this, okay, let's put it this way: if let's put ourselves in a real life situation. So if we're racing at Laguna Seca, which is a racetrack here in Monterey, California, which is not very far. Which is not very far from my area, from where I'm at right now. And if we're if we're doing a race, okay, just you and me. If I go if I go right next to you, door to door. All of a sudden you do that, personally, like I mean intentionally. If you do that, if you smack me off the track like that, you're gonna get your points deducted. And if you keep doing that, you're going to get disqualified. If you cut corners, that's another illegal thing. Sure, we're cutting corners on that one place in Goliath, but it's a, it's a street race. It's it's totally illegal. It's fine. But I don't like being bumped at, all right? I don't like being bumped. Maybe a little tap, that's fine. But, like, something that will smack me off the track or hit a guardrail and spin me out, never acceptable. If you keep doing that, I will kick you out. Or that's another word, I will disqualify you. Okay? So, I just want to point this out, Connor. Um, I think your, I think that video of yours is pretty, it's pretty much baloney. And I think you should not be making those kind of videos because, uh, I, I just don't know what to say. But, um, if you, if you viewers want to see that, that video, I will put the link in the description below so you guys can take a look at that. Because there are some videos that he made, um, once I was playing Forza Horizon with him and, um, he was making these, starting making these videos that oh, uh, he beat he beat Rain I I tried to beat Rainbow Dash I tried to beat Rarity or he tried to beat Squire sixty seven Strat my gamer tag in a race or something like that. No. Stop complaining. Do your best. All right. 
Never give up. I was in that situation like you. I was in that exact same situation as you. I sucked. I kept getting beaten by my friend. Uh, my friend Vino Raptor or NSB Brony. I'm getting beaten by those guys back in the days, you know? Because I didn't, I thought I knew better. I thought that, okay, having a Bugatti Veyron is gonna, I'm gonna easily win this one because I'm a fast car and I have a thousand horsepower. And I later figured out that I was wrong. Thanks to my friends, NSB Brony, Vino Raptor, and Atomic Blaze 23, they, these guys actually helped me out doing, to be good at, um, of being the who I am right now in Forza Horizon, or at least in the Forza Horizon community. Sure, I don't have Forza Horizon 3 right now. Sure, I, sure, I don't have Forza Horizon 2, or I, even, I don't even have Assetto Corsa yet. But at least I have pride in myself that I can be the best who I am. Okay? And I know for a fact, you, Connor, that you can be as great as me. There's no... There's, there's nobody that is going to be racing like you if you can... If you can at least stay, step up to my level. Because I've actually been from, I've been through to where you're at, okay? So, enough making these videos of you you and your friends complaining that, oh, I'm getting beaten by this guy in Ferrari F50 GT. Or, here comes a new competitor in Horizon and, shows, and show up in a crappy looking car. Which, I'm actually, and right with that, and there's, sure, I, you replied to me, you have that angry fa look on your face, but it's true. I'm being honest here. Because you're in a Peugeot. And you're going against a car like a Ferrari F50 GT, or at least a person who knows how to drive almost any car that he has in his garage. I'm being honest here. If you want to at least step up to my level, at least drive a car like this, or at least try to do your best to at least keep up pace with me. Because... I have hope. I have hope in you. All right. Uh, so uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I know I get a little bit worked up in this, but I, I, there's something that I really need to point out to Connor. Um, but regardless, uh, even though that he is currently a crappy driver right now, we're still really good friends. And uh, so, if you other view, if you viewers are are thinking that I'm just dissing him, I'm I'm I'm. I do apologize, all right? But we are we are still good friends. I still I still have him on my friends list on Xbox Live. We still have a lot of fun playing Xbox, uh, playing Forza Horizon One with each other, and have a lot of fun with it. And um, and um, yeah. So um, thank you guys very much for watching. I know I I know I'm kind of rambling here, but just something that I really wanted to bring out to my friend Connor. So if he's watching this, um, if Connor, if you're watching this. Uh, if, if you're watching this up till now um, I'd like to congratulate you because pretty much every video that you watch here every new video that I, I come in you just pretty much just watch the video for a few seconds and just like it come on dude just at least watch the video in its entirety alright so um, um, uh, that's all for now I'm hopefully I'm gonna I don't have my Ford my Traxxas 4 GT yet because I, I'm really I'm saving up for money for that and it's currently $300 right now so Hopefully I will get that, and then once I do have the extra cash left in my pocket, I will hopefully get myself an Xbox One so I can play with some of my, my old friends that left the Xbox 360 and move on to the Xbox One. So, um, and Nick, if you're also watching this, stop rushing me, okay? Because I have a life, and I'm not here just to play Forza all the time or play on the Xbox. Cause I have a life, and uh, there's more important things that I need to do more important things to do in my life other than just play Xbox or do RCs or do spend my time doing My Little Pony mashups or any My Little Pony um, uh, projects, all right? Sometimes I don't have time for that, okay? But when I do get the time, sure, I'll get on the Xbox and, you know, just have some fun, all right? So um, that is all for now. I'm out. See you guys soon.